plateau is in mourning. It has been thrown into confusion after the killing of 22 persons in Riom local government area. Now, Pulani herdsmen attacked Riom, killing several people and burning over 100 houses. The victims are now being buried and the community is now living in fear as this is not the first time the Fulani headsmen will be attacking in this manner. Now, to throw more light on this issue, we are being joined now by our Plateau State correspondent, Yomi Kosoko, who is going to be telling us the latest. Now, 22 dead, and they say they are currently being buried. Yomi, what more can you tell us? Yes, the situation is so sad. Actually, it's in the parking lot in local government area in Plateau State, where about four villages were affected in the attack by uh, suspected Fulani militia. The villages of Jong, Lodring, Vin, and Ndong were attacked Monday and Tuesday, uh, respectively. According to the villagers, over 20 people uh, died in the, in, the, in, in the process of the attack, while the SCF is claiming that uh, only seven people died. I spoke uh, this morning with uh, the SCF spokesperson and the person of a captain, KDG Iweha, and he, he confirmed to me that only seven people died and that the cause of the, uh, the attack was retaliatory. Uh, uh, sometimes in March, about 400 cows were also sold and 282 were recovered and returned to the owners. Um, the district head of Europe, Edward Gianbot also escaped death narrowly uh, while attempt was made to burn his house, uh, which was which filled. And uh, during the attack, it's also sad to note that about eight people, including women and children, were burned to death in a particular household, while also a pastor that was trying to uh, shield the children was also killed in the process. This is not the first time that such things uh, happening in that area. Uh, because um, whenever the, the people in the area, they are mainly farmers, they go to farms and they were attacked on the road. And but this time around, uh, according to the villagers, uh, the militia men came dressed in black and they opened fire on the villagers. And uh, by the time the SCF got to know about this and they have to repel the attackers, two of the uh, SCF personnel got injured and they are receiving treatment in the hospital. According to the SCF spokesman, the uh, special task force are dominating the area and they are in pursuit of the assailants. So far, the area is calm and there are indications that the governor of Plateau State, Jonah Jang, might be visiting that area to see uh, the level of damage and the what uh, could be done. To have a future occurrence. Now, people, a lot of people will be hoping for, let's seal this, let's nip this in the bud. This is one attack too many. What is the government doing to try and sort this situation out once and for all, Yemi? It's been a bit difficult because uh, some of those areas, uh, by the time the uh, security men will get to that place, it, uh, it becomes a bit of a, uh, of a challenge. And uh, what they were doing before was to get uh, vigilante groups that would be able to protect uh, the, those areas. And uh, the, one of the things that uh, the government has been doing is to see how uh, the vigilantes of uh, the, those localities can uh, synergize with the STF and of course to see how when such attack is about to happen they can get uh, more information. And of course, uh, the senator rep representing Plateau North, Yan Pajok, who recently uh, made observation that some of this attack might be as a result of uh, uh, the firepower in the Northeast, and those elements that are coming into land might be the ones that are causing all these troubles. And I doubt that it is high time that a, a, an effort has to be put together to see that those people living in that area were able to come together and see how to find a lasting solution to this incessant killing. Thank it's you. Becoming, uh, too many. Yes, it's becoming one too many. Thank you so much, our correspondent in the plateau, Yemi Kosoko, bringing us up to speed with the situation in Arian, local government area of Plateau State.